Six great exercises in only nine minutes to help your lower back feel better. Let's do it right now. What's up guys? Hey, Jared Beckstrand here, Doctor of Physical Therapy, ToneandTitan.com, and these are six of my favorite home exercises that you can do to alleviate pain and tension in your lower back. The whole thing is gonna take us about nine minutes to get through. I'm gonna walk you through the whole thing. I'll give you cues, I'll count down your time. All you've gotta do is follow along. So get down on the ground and let's go to work. The first thing we're gonna do is some lumbar rotation stretches. I'm gonna get my timer, we'll hit start. Lay on your back with both your knees bent, and then you're just going to let both your knees fall down to the side. So right now I'm going to my left. You can let your right hip come up off the ground, but I want your shoulders to stay down on the ground. Take it as far as you can until you get a nice comfortable stretch up through that right side, and then hold it there for 20 seconds, right about there. And now we're gonna take both knees over to the other direction. And so, oh, this one's actually a little bit tighter on me. Again, you're on your back, your shoulders are down, and your hips are rotating until we get a good stretch. I feel that one through the left side of my lower back and down even into my hip. And again, just take it to where it's comfortable. We'll repeat that three times to each side. So it looks just like this. What you should feel, what you should notice is as you do these and as you go side to side with this, you're able to go a little bit further as those muscles relax, as your lower back relaxes. Um, you're going to be able to take this a little bit further with each stretch. So there's number two that way, and here's number two this way. Again, this whole routine is going to take us less than 10 minutes to do. These are exercises that I give to patients every single day in my physical therapy clinic, and the, the results are pretty remarkable. I mean, they do, they do really well with them, so I hope that you find the same thing. I hope that these things really help you to feel better as well. Last time to the left for 20 seconds and then we're gonna go last time to the right for 20 seconds. Again, just a good stretch, just to get the hips loosened up. It introduces a little bit of rotation in your lower back, and it's typically a good stretch for most people. Most people um, really find a lot of relief with this one. After this, we're gonna get into a couple of stretches for your hips. We're gonna do some piriformis stretches, and then we're also gonna do some hamstring stretches because those two areas tend to get really tight in people who have lower back pain. And so to get into the piriformis stretch, what we're going to do is I'm going to take my left leg, cross it over my right, and then grab back behind my right knee with my hands. And now I'm just pulling my right knee up towards my chest until I get a good, comfortable stretch deep in my left glute. That's where your piriformis muscle sits. It's a hip rotator that sits deep to the glute. Go ahead and switch it up. So now my right leg crosses over my left knee and then I'm gonna pull that left knee up into my shoulder until I get a good stretch in the right glute. So that piriformis, it's a deep hip rotator, and honestly, it gets, it gets tight. Like nine out of 10 patients with low back pain will have some tightness in that piriformis muscle. Go ahead and switch, switch over to the other side. Left leg crosses over the right. And so honestly, this is one that I do regularly. I do have some back pain that kind of creeps up every now and then. And this is typically what I do to alleviate it. This, uh, this little piriformis stretch is a really good one. 20 seconds on each side, good work. Over onto the right, and then we've got one more on each side before we get into the hamstring stretch. Should be comfortable. Um, you know, don't, don't pull so hard that it's actually painful. Um, it's been proven that um, a slighter stretch sustained for longer is actually more effective than a more aggressive stretch held for shorter. So a lot of times patients will get under the mentality of it's, it's this all or nothing, go big or go home type mentality. That's certainly not the case. Just try to keep it comfortable just until you get a good comfortable stretch down in those deep hip rotators. Here we go, last one on the right, and then we're gonna get into a couple of easy hamstring stretches. Hamstrings are another muscle, um, they, they attach up to your pelvis, which influence kind of influences kind of that foundation of your lower back. So it's important that we keep those stretched out and mobile. How I like to do that, bend your left leg, grab behind it, and then we're just going to straighten that left leg as high as we can in this direction. 
and just until we get a good stretch all down that hamstring. Hamstring goes from behind your knee to your butt, so it's kind of that back of your leg. That's what I'm after, like 20 seconds on the left, and then we're gonna go 20 seconds on the right. So again, knees bent, hands are behind the knees, and then all you have to do is extend that leg out as straight as you can. So straighten your knee, uh, lift your foot up towards the ceiling, so it looks just like that. 20 seconds on each side, and we'll repeat that three times. There we go, so here's number two on the left. Excellent. And I think, you know, for the most part, the lower back wants to feel better, and, and I know everybody who has lower back pain definitely wants it to feel better. Presenting it with the opportunity to do that, meaning doing the right stretches and the right exercises, really goes a long way in helping your lower back out. It goes a long way in helping to alleviate a lot of that pain and a lot of that tension that you feel in your lower back. It doesn't have to be long, it just has to be consistent. So a lot of people will ask, well Jared, how often can I do a routine like this? And I recommend, you know, the stretches for the last one. The stretches, so the first of these first three exercises, I like to do those two to three times a day. The strengthening exercise is kind of a one to two times a day on those as we get into those. And uh, that's what's coming up next. So we'll hold this uh, left side. This is our last 20 second hold on the left. That's good. And then here's our last 20 second hold on the right. Just like this. And then we'll get into three of my favorite, but we're going to do kind of a range of motion strengthening exercise next. And then we're going to follow that up with two of my favorite low back and core stabilization exercises after that. Okay, fantastic. So I'm going to turn off this timer and then I'm going to get my one minute timer going. So that one's off and then here we go on this one. First exercise that we're going to do is called a posterior pelvic tilt, well an anterior and posterior pelvic tilt. As I lay on my back with my knees bent, I have an arch underneath my back. What I want you to do is, with your hips, tuck your hips backwards. So rotate your hips backwards to press your lower back into the mat and then come back up out of that. So basically, we're rocking our hips backwards and then rocking our hips forward so that our back flattens into the mat and so that it, uh, it flattens into the mat and then it lifts up off of the mat or the floor or whatever it is that you're on. So here's my one minute timer. So we're gonna go anterior tilt, back comes up off of the mat posterior tilt, back flats down into the mat or into the floor or whatever it is that we're laying on. So lift your back up off, tip anteriorly, and then back down into the ground, tip posteriorly. This is a great, really safe, neutral position to just introduce a little bit more motion into your spine. Hold it for one, two, three seconds down, come up and then hold that for one, two, three seconds up. So it looks just like that. And again, we're gonna go for about a minute on this. Um, now, if this is aggravating to your back, please feel free to skip this exercise. Uh, some conditions this might be a little bit aggravating for. Sometimes if you have like severe disc problems, either a disc bulge or stenosis going on in your back, um, it doesn't necessarily like this too much. But uh, keep that in mind. Three, two, one. Okay, let's get into some bridges. Uh, lay on your back, knees bend, squeeze the glutes, lift the hips up towards the ceiling, hold one, two, three and then come right back in. Squeeze the glutes, lift the hips, hold, one, two, three, and then come right back down. And that's what our glute bridges look like. Try not to pull with your hamstrings. We just spent some time getting those stretched out and relaxed. Instead, what I want you to do is squeeze with your glutes to lift those up towards the ceiling. Use your glutes and uh, your lower back, your lower back muscle actually loves to work in connection with your glutes. They all serve to extend your trunk and extend your spine. If we can train those glutes, we can make those stronger to take some of the strain off of your lower back. Most people respond really well to that. And so that's what these bridges exercises are geared towards doing. It looks like we've got about 10 more seconds left. And then we've got our last exercise. We're flying through this, you guys. Again, only nine minutes is all that it's gonna take us. The last one we're gonna do are some bird dogs. So we're down here on all fours. I want you to kick your left leg straight back as you lift your right arm straight forward. Hold one, two, and then we're gonna go left arm straight forward as the right leg kicks straight back. Hold one, two, and then we're gonna alternate. It looks just like that. Uh, this is a great exercise. We're using um, 
kind of the, the upper limb on one side with the lower limb on the other side results in some really good strengthening, some really good stabilization in your lower back. Looks like we've only got about 25 seconds left. You guys are doing awesome. I hope that this is feeling better. I hope that you have found this beneficial. Um, of course, if you have, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. When we're done here, I'd love for you to like this video and help it to get out there in the YouTube world. Of course, if you haven't done so already, I'd also love if you subscribe to my channel here on Tone uh, Tone Titan here on YouTube, um, so that you never miss a new video like this when I put it out. Three, two, one, right there. And so you can do that by hitting the circle button right here. Here's one more video that your low back might like. We'll see you next time right here on Tone Titan.